Hey guys! So, if you have not seen my channel, I'm Christy, and um, if you like this video, press that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. Um, so, I kind of want to talk to you guys a little bit about migraines. So, or my life with migraines. So, I did the video a while ago. I'll, pro I'll more than likely be posting these on different days, but that's why I look the same. Anyway, so today has been the first day that I have felt even halfway decent since a complete week. Or today's Wednesday, since last Wednesday, was the last time I've done anything. So, um, with migraines, there's a lot of stuff that people don't understand about migraines. Oh, just hit your, touch your pressure points and use Excedrin migraine, you know. It's not, sometimes it's a little bit more than that. My mom had a brain tumor. No one could figure out what was wrong with her uh, in the beginning. And so, she had a brain tumor and they finally found out that that's why. Well, I've had migraines kind of most of my life, but it didn't really hit me until about three years, three years ago. And then I started, was kind of like, what's going on? Because I would be in tears, like just agony. My, I would have to go to the hospital and nobody... They just say, oh, you're migraines. Oh, migraines. Well, and none of the medicine anybody gave me ever worked. So, I don't know if you can tell, but if you see my cheek, my face right here versus here, this side is always swollen right here. I mean, I kind of look like a baby doll with huge cheeks. Well, my migraines are always on my left side. I don't know why it never migrates to anything past here over at all. And so I went to the doctor and they did an MRI and they discovered that not only do I have migraines, but I have something called Chiari malformation. That is a little bit tricky to understand because it took me a while. I had to Google everything about it. Pretty much, my brain is too big for my skull. I have met only one other person on this planet that has it, and she's awesome. So, this condition, pretty much the cerebellum in the back of your brain, for me, it is too big, or it kind of hangs down, I guess you could say. Um, there's a small opening that leads from your skull to your, or your brain to your, like your spinal cord, your spine, all that kind of goes down there. My cerebellum hangs down, or pushes, is too squeezed in, I guess, and it goes out of that hole, or hangs too low. So it pushes pressure on my spinal cord, and it puts, um, it blocks the fluid, like the spinal fluid going through my brain. So, I'm pretty sure that what most of my pain is could be migraines. But even after that, there's like a, almost like pressure throughout my whole head. And I'm pretty sure that's got something to do with the, like if I have, if it acts up, it could swell or something and block the flow. I don't know. Never really figured it out 100%, but living with migraines is the worst, one of the worst things you could probably ever experience, especially with having loud children <laughs> that are constantly, mommy, mommy, I want this, I want that, like every child does. So, I've tried medicines, medication after medication, I've tried, Ke not chemo, um, I've tried, 
chiropractic. <laughs> I can't talk. Uh, I've had a chiropractor work on me. That did not help either. The only time I seemed to not have... Well, no, I didn't. Okay, so... I even at one point did... Um, Botox. And yes, there is Botox for migraines. Where pretty much you get... 31 shots which could go all which go all the way in their forehead all the way around your head almost like a crown and I ended up having to stop doing that simply because of the fact that they each one shot equals up to or the shot equals up to be fifteen hundred dollars I could not afford that so um, we ended up going to see another um, neurologist he has me on a shot called Emgality pretty much the first shots you get or while you're in the office they give you two shots for your beginning um, and then every month after that you only have to take one shot a month on the same day so um, for the shot, you have to keep it in the refrigerator. Um, do not take this shot when it's cold because it is so painful. Now, um, I've been on it and I've had some pretty crazy side effects from it, which the doctor said there wasn't any, but I'm going to have to talk to him about that, um, which I could probably explain later. But, um, so, either the shots are not working anymore, or at the same time that I started taking the shots, I started take, um, is when I started the coconut oil and rice water for my hair. So, I'm kind of wondering if the shots even did help at all, or if it was all the coconut oil and, um, rice water because honestly past couple weeks I have I've been doing the rice water but I kind of slowed down on the coconut oil so um last week was just all I wanted to do was just lay there and just sleep and sleep and sleep well last night I decided to do the full coconut oil rice water all of it slept in it and today, I still have a little bit of pressure, I feel like, in here to where I just feel like I could just pass out. But, I've had a little bit more energy. I'm not as dizzy, lightheaded. So, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that um, this will work and that it, I can just keep doing this and start feeling better. So... Um, I think that's going to be it for today, guys, because I'm cooking something really awesome, which I didn't show you in another video. <laughs> but anyways, um, I hope you guys like this video. Again, please subscribe. This vi th Doing YouTube has helped me in so many ways you would not even understand, which I'll probably do another video on a different day about why I want to do YouTube and depression. So, um, that is going to be it for today. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and y'all stay happy and healthy.